All right, Geeks, thanks for checking us out. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Check for our giveaway list. We have a lot of legends to give away and you want to make sure that you're a part of it. Who doesn't like free stuff? All right, what's up, Geeks? We're here with the McFarlane DC Multiverse Wonder Woman, the 1984 Golden Armor version. Yes, it's my first DC character review, my first McFarlane toy review. I've got a few McFarlane toys, but I haven't cracked any open yet. So let's see what she's talking about. Woo! Let's go. So I originally didn't plan on collecting this line. Well, let me step back. When they announced McFarlane was doing the DC toys, I was very excited because I didn't collect DC toys before because they didn't have like one standard line like Hasbro had the Marvel Legends. When they came out, I wasn't really taken with them. The pictures online looked okay, but when I saw them in person, I didn't like them as much. Um, but seeing them in the stores, looking at them, I was like, let me give them a try. So I picked up a couple. So I'm going to do most of this wave and then we'll go from here and see if I'll continue on. Alright, so no artwork on the side of the box. This side just has the name of the figure. Peekaboo! Top has another peekaboo window. And here's a close-up of her in the box. Then we've got the back of the box. It has a picture of Gal Gadot from the movie, all dolled up in the armor. In the bottom of the box it says collect them all and they got pictures of the toys you can get uh, two of which are not out yet all right so open up the box you've got two trays because the wings are in one tray oh. that's tough to get out of there all right i'm going to slide the cart with that too First tray has the figure. All right, so this is actually not a tray. The wings are under plastic, glued to the back with the collector's card and the stand. Now, one thing I gotta say, props to McFarland Toys 1999, you get a sturdy stand. Well, what looks like a sturdy stand with each one. Hasbro, pay attention. All right, so FYI, if you were planning on using this background for taking pictures, you're probably not, because this glue on there is pretty strong. I just tried to take it off and it didn't lift, so I'm gonna have to put some power behind it. Another kudos to McFarland Toys with the twist tie back there, making it much harder to steal and store because it takes a lot longer. You're probably not going to see as many figure swaps as you see with the Legends. Yeah, the tie actually runs through the inside of the figure. So if you're in the store trying to steal this, you're going to need like 30 minutes. All right, so what have we got? We've got the plastic sand with the DC emblem on it. We got the wings. We got the collector's card. We got the figure itself. All right, here's a close-up of the card. Data file on the back. In her golden armor, Wonder Woman is the ultimate embodiment of power, grace, wisdom, and wonder. An Amazon warrior whose strength defies challenge and whose courage shines. Ooh. All right, so first things first, she's tall. I guess that's because she's a McFarlane, not just because she's an Amazon. Uh, these are seven inch scale figures, not six inch like Legends. Forgive the blasphemy of the Marvel Legends sign back there. I know DC hit will kill me. I haven't been able to get my new setup up yet, so that'll change soon. Anyway, so you get the 360 degree full swivel on the head. All right, so that's the head looking straight forward, level. All right, head does not tilt back because of the hair. She does look down though. Mm -hmm. 
that's the head looking straight forward. The head does not tilt back because of the hair. It rests square on her shoulder so you can't have her look up. She gets her arms way up in the air, so that's awesome. Shoulder plates do lift up on the armor, totally flexible so it doesn't get caught up there. Nice touch under her arm, fully painted. There's a little cup the arm goes into so the armor doesn't separate so there's no gap. It actually looks like real armor there. It's actually, oh, it's, it actually is part of the joint, it swivels. So it's not part of the armor. Oh, that's pretty cool, but they did make sure to paint it. Kudos. All right, so at the top of the bicep, she does get a 360 degree swivel. Oh, I guess I need to hold that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really loose. So the whole joint is going with it. Let me see if I can hold it. All right, so I'm holding this one and yeah, the bicep is swiveling. I won't really call it a bicep though. She doesn't have any guns. Double jointed hinge on the elbow. Range is really impressive. She's actually touching her chin and it probably could have gone a little bit further if her neck wasn't there. So that's good. A lot of legends, the arm will stop out there. She gets all the way in. Pretty cool. All right, so the wrists do bend in. Wow, that's deep. Good wrist flexibility. I'm gonna say these joints, if you're comparing them Legends, they're a lot, I don't wanna say looser, but lighter. I think the plastic overall is lighter. There's a, more of a snap to them, quick movement, or at least this figure. And a swivel. All right, so no abdominal crunch. She's on a swivel rocker. And his armor's shiny. Alright. You can hear it. There's a leg, this swivel 360 degrees around. Does get caught up a little bit, but it makes it. Alright, so double jointed knee, but with zero flexibility, zero range. That's as far up as you can get her to kick. Nowhere near her butt. So a little disappointed with that. That range, I mean, I don't even know the reason for it. There's nothing that should be blocking it, like arm or anything. Just butts the thigh at the wrong part. There is no thigh swivel. This is one solid piece does not turn. Boo on that. All right, so toe bends up, but very little articulation in the feet. The foot is on a ball rocker. That's the foot forward. Set it back straight so you can see the difference. Does not go back. The heel meets the calf right there bottom of the calf, so it doesn't go back at all. Here's a split range, nothing to write home about. All right, so looking at her close up, uh, the face sculpt, I don't know what to say, it doesn't look bad but I don't think it really looks like Gal Gadot. It also doesn't look like Wonder Woman from the comic books. Not any that I remember. So uh, when I first saw the figure revealed, uh, I saw a picture on Instagram, I thought it was maybe her mother or something because I didn't think it looked like her, but uh, lo and behold, it is Wonder Woman. So can't say it's a bad face sculpt, but I mean, it's not a good likeness of Gal Gadot. I can tell you that much. I mean, you can say it looks alike because she has the helmet on, but I mean, I think it would be nice if they had kept the hair the way it was in this picture. I don't know. Not a bad sculpt, but doesn't look like the actress to me. All right, the paint job on this is good. It's kind of hard to mess up because they probably just painted the entire thing gold and then came in and did 
the wrist cuffs because the only thing that's not gold outside the head. So solid, no blemishes, just gold straight down. And it's a nice gold. It looks like the spray paint I use all the time. Very shiny. All right, so slid one wing in there. I'm gonna show you this one. It doesn't pop in, just kind of glides in right there. And they are flexible. Oh, they are flexible. They do have a hinge joint in there. So they can flap. You can pose them different ways. So here's the stand base. And here's the arm. Just slide it in there and it clicks. It also has a peg if you want to secure her foot in there. The head does swivel. And it has a screw for tightening right there. All right, I gave McFarlane kudos for including a stand, but I must say that this stand is not flexible enough, not as flexible as the third party ones you get. I tried to flip it up to have her flying, but it won't flip up and it doesn't turn around. So basically the only way you can put her in the stand is like this. I tried to do it like this, but the angle doesn't really flip up enough. I mean, maybe get it to work, but who wants to stand in front of her like that blocking if you're taking a picture or posing? That sucks. All right, so Wonder Woman in her golden armor, 1984. Uh, she's decent. She's pretty decent. Um, not too happy with the articulation. Well, some of it I am, some of it I'm not. The stand is disappointing because you really can't do much with her with the stand. Uh, I'm disappointed she didn't come with any weapons or accessories because if she has the stand and the wings that act like she's flying in, she should have a sword and a shield. I mean, that would be badass. So I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I guess maybe they had to cut costs for putting the stand in. But let me know what you think. Um, I am not mad I bought it, but I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought that the figure could be a little bit better. It could look a lot more like the actress and could have come with some accessories. But overall, you know, for 1999, it's not that bad. So are you in DC? Are you gonna grab her? Let me know what you think in the comments. Stay tuned after this, I'm gonna put her next to some other figures so you can see what she looks like size-wise.